This is a short demo on how we can use Tiny Bear to work with JSON data, to extract values from JSON columns, to create the materializations that will let us go from a query that takes almost 300 milliseconds to one that takes less than one millisecond. And lastly, how to create dynamic endpoints on Tiny Bear on top of this data. The data that we have is events data uh, that comes from a fictional video game platform. We have 3.1 million events, which represent gameplays. And for each gameplay, we have the name of the player, their team, the game they played, the moment of the game, and the score that each player got. The data come in an NDJSON format, and with TinyBird, we will calculate real-time leaderboards for teams and players of these games. We're working on a new feature at TinyBird that will let you ingest NDJSON files directly. But until that's ready, the way to go is converting the file first to a CSV file with only one string column. And the way to do it is, the way to do it is with this JQ command that I have just run in my terminal. Now to ingest this data on TinyBird, we need first to generate the schema for it. And we can do this with the TB resource generate command that I have just run now. And once it's ready, if we run TB push and the path to this schema, the resource will be created in our TinyBear account and we will be ready to ingest data to it. And I've uploaded, I've uploaded the file to Google Cloud Storage so that the import process is as fast as it gets without having to rely on the bandwidth of my local connection. After a few seconds, our data is ingested and we can start transforming it with SQL in our UI. Here, what we're doing is extracting each value from the data source. And now here, what we do is aggregating data by date, game, and player, and summing the scores of each player. But as you see, this query is quite slow. And if we have 1,000 times more data, it will be way too slow for any real-time use cases. The way to make this faster is by using materialized views. Materialized views will let us store in this the result of expensive operations, like the first data extraction that we did to get each one of the values from the JSON column. And uh, we will also use low cardinality data types so that aggregations are faster and compression is more efficient. This is how you define, you push, and we populate the materialized view. We see the progress of the job, and when it's done, the data is properly populated in the new data source. After this is done, you can see in the data flow graph that the landing and destination data sources are connected. Now we can rewrite the original slow query, choose to read data from the materialized data source instead of from the original data source. And uh, whoops, now the query is 10 times faster. But we can still do better. We can create materialized views to pre-aggregate these calculations that we're doing in this query. The way to do this is similar to what we've done before. We need to create a data source that will store the columns that we want to materialize. And then we will need to define a materialized view that will read from one data source and aggregate the results in the final data source. And this final data source called Gameplays by date game player will have a different engine. This time we'll have a summing merge tree, which is a subclass of an aggregating merge tree. And uh, what's special about this engine is that for simple aggregations like sums and counts, you won't have to use state and merge functions. And this will make your queries and your materialized views simpler. We push and populate the materialized view, and now we can proceed to rewrite the query and after we do it we see that boom now the query takes 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 milliseconds which is about 400 times faster than the original query not bad and this is all possible thanks to ClickHouse, which tinybird runs on top of and the value that tinybird brings you is that you don't have to worry at all about maintaining and managing a ClickHouse cluster. Everything works for you out of the box so that you can have a production ready system in just a few hours. And on top of that, Tinybird lets you create dynamic endpoints on your queries, like what we're seeing here. So you could pass 
name of a game and all the results will be filtered by that value. Yeah, as a final just here we made a script that ingests data to TinyBird every three or four seconds. It's sending a hundred thousand rows per ingestion and uh, as you can see TinyBird just takes it all without uh, any trouble. And that's it. That's how much work you have to do to read JSON data and to make a query 400 times faster with TinyBird and ClickHouse. Thank you.